here at Medium 2013. It's the third day of the conference, and I'm happy to have on the show Sebastian Metro, who's the CEO of the company Yasound. So, hi, Sebastian. How's it going today? I'm doing good. It's, uh, it's getting for me, so yeah, <laughs> that's good. I think three days is a good time, actually. You know, I I've got tomorrow as well. I, I feel like I'm going to start a flag tomorrow. <laughs> so let's talk about Yasound. Um, yeah. You know, when did the company start out, and let's start with the beginnings of it. Uh, the real start was in uh, September 11, uh, 11 yeah. and uh, we, with, we began thinking about the project in the mid January of uh, 11. Yeah. So um, the time to uh, make a demo, raise capital, and find offices, stuff like that, was of course. In, uh, in September, and uh, we released uh, the first, what we call the first beta version for iOS in March yeah. uh, of 2012, and um, it. We got some good results from it, and yeah. uh, it was a great experience. So we decided to go with well, actually, you know, with iOS version, we, we can't we can't say it's beta on the App Store. So yeah. we had to call it version one, but it was really we, we felt like an alpha or beta. Yeah. Sure. So um, uh, we learn, we uh, iterate, and uh, released version two in September uh, in October. Yeah. Actually, on the end of October, and um, it's doing good. And we released also a website version, a web application. Yeah. And um, Got great results from it, and um, we're now ready to push forward. Sure. Um, we we got um, just a, a huge. I, I don't know exactly how to say accident or whatever. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, I'm not, I'm the CTO of Yasson uh, yeah, originally, sure. and uh, I had uh, a co-founder who was uh, Jean-Marc Prégère, yeah. who uh, sadly died in December. Yeah, that's awful. Uh, so well, I'm, I'm stepping in that. right now and. Uh, we we really want to, to to go on with the project absolutely um, so sure so it must be a, of course a, a, a couple of tough months I'm sure um, and in terms of uh, how the company you know how you would describe the company in a, you know just a few lines what does the sound do sure. uh, the purpose of the sound is to uh, to 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 reveal, well it's it's a big it, it's a bold statement, but we want to revolutionize uh, radio on the internet. Uh, when you look at uh, web radios, there are in the world, in the worldwide uh, uh, radio world, there is only a little more than 40,000 radio. If you compare that to the number of Facebook accounts, uh, blogs, Twitter accounts, uh, videos on YouTube, stuff like that, it's, it's like nothing it's non existing but still people want to listen to uh, streaming audio they like they still listen to music they want to discover new music they want to discover new talent and so we think there is a big opportunity there and we think also that radio is the only media that hasn't been changed really by the internet yeah. so the the <clears throat> the way the way, it, the way it works the way there is ads stuff like that it it, it, it there is no change in in radio right now yeah. and we want to change that so we feel the first step was to uh, make it very easy to create a radio. So uh, this is something we, we think we achieved uh, with uh, version 2. Yeah. <coughs> Because you can just create a radio from a, a playlist on your iPhone and and, uh, and edit your radio from your iOS device and from the web, yeah. and it's like really four clicks and like ten seconds to to, to create a radio. And now uh, we want to to make to, to go a little bit further because now uh, we. we People sometimes compare us to Spotify or Deezer, and we feel there is a much more to do than just being a Deezer-like or Spotify-like. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, so we're really pushing to uh, th the, f to towards uh, live shows, talk shows, just like we are we are doing right now, uh, and uh, DJ sets, everything that will uh, really uh, be more like a real media with not just music but yeah. also. A whole new world. Yeah, and on the music front, of course, it's a great facilitator because uh, you know nowadays, if you uh, do want to put off, you know, on a web radio yourself uh, on your own servers, it becomes very complicated to get yeah. the licenses and get everything sorted out. Exactly. And with the sound, you don't have to worry about that, right? Exactly. Uh, with the sound, we worry about all the rights. We may, we uh, we have agreements with the uh, right holders, like uh, in France, for example, SCPP, which is the sound behind us, yeah. and uh, SASM, which is right there, and uh, SPPF, which is actually Actually, right. We have all the three great big ones. Yeah. Uh, so we have agreements with the guys. Uh, we are in talks with uh, rights companies in all the whole world. So uh, we take care of, the, of that part uh, and uh, really. Setting up the server part was very complicated, also. Sure. So we take care of that. Uh, we have a great cloud. It's, everybody does that now. It's like cloud is the buzzword of this of 
this this year maybe. Yeah. Uh, so I feel like a bit stupid to say cloud, but it's it's still that's the way we we call servers that's the way now. It is, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so basically, we have servers that run twenty four hour a day, seven hours seven, and uh, the rate you the radio you create is created from the contents of your iPhone yeah. but that's the only way that, that's really the only use your iPhone is yeah uh, all the contents is streamed for life from our server yeah. and the radio is really streaming which is also a big difference uh, compared to most of the other services would just do uh, how did it call that it's a uh, uh, it's uh, download. They, they just download songs. Yeah, we don't do that. We really, it's a live stream. If you listen to one radio on your song, somebody else listens to exactly the same stream. You will hear the, exactly the same thing at the same time. Of course. So it makes interaction uh, and and synchronization possible. So it's a, it's a big difference. Also. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, and that makes a big difference in the, in the way the rights are handled as well. Of course. Sure. And so um, I, I like the you know the wealth of options the options that you have as well on the platform because um, you know aside from having tracks already on your own servers that people can choose from, you also of course, can import music yes. from iTunes. You can upload uh, music, and you can also synchronize the uh, playlists up with uh, Deezer. So exactly. So that's a, that's very interesting because, of course, uh, with the, you know the, the radio play, uh, like we're talking about, which is different from the streaming play, but there is some uh, some uh, sort of synergy between the two in the playlist space. Yeah, in our view, it's very important to. Uh to really have a virtual sh circle with the artists. Yeah. And we feel like uh, we will probably not be a big revenue stream for the artists. Radio uh, historically yeah, never has been a big revenue stream for the artists. But uh, most artists right now don't get money from records they do. It's mostly promotion tools. And they they do their money from live shows. So they need to, to make themselves known and uh, you can promote a live show on Deezer or Spotify it's, it's, it's not that easy but on the radio on, on a Yason you can just upload a show that you've recorded you can put uh, new stuff that, is, that isn't out yet you can put interviews you can put whatever re, uh, audio clips you have and maybe also you can have uh, your, your own music and the music you like, so it's it's you can create a universe which is a bit more than just having a web page with your product. Yeah. And uh, this is this is something we feel uh, we feel very strongly about. We we really uh, want to be a, a very great promotion tool for the artists, but not just for the artists. Uh, I mean, musicians are welcome, DJs are welcome, and we really want to to, to be useful to them. But we'll, we also think uh, festivals, music blogs, uh, anybody who has something to say. Uh, need to be able to say it on your song. That's, yeah, absolutely. That, that's really the push we have. So let's talk about uh, the monetization side of the app, sure. of course, because uh, when there are rights involved, of course, there are costs, and, and with that come uh, the need to make some money out of the, out, yes. out of the service. So are you looking more at, uh, for example, visual uh, ads uh, within the application, or are you looking at sound ads within the, within the stream? Uh, this, is, well, this, is, this is something where we, we maybe want to depart from the original radio model, who uh, every five minutes makes you listen to a uh, horrible uh, yeah. w wishing uh, powder uh, 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 ads. Yeah. Uh, we feel it's degrading contents, which uh, uh, it, it's twofold. The, 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 the first thing is the, the, the pose is all sometimes welcome in a show because it makes you, but it makes the brains breathe. But uh, if it's too distracting, it's really destroying the, the original contents. And uh, we don't want to degrade. We want to have great contents, we want our artists to be really proud about their radio. We don't want to say to cringe when there is an ad in between two great songs. So we we feel uh, audio ads are interesting, but it has to uh, it has to make sense with sure. what, what we we propose, and we really are uh, uh, thinking a lot about how we will integrate ads in in a uh, very smart way, uh, which is. Uh, we're thinking along the lines of provide, uh, providing the user um, premium contents, and if he, if he wants to add to access the premium, sorry, my English is a bit broken. Uh, the access to uh, premium contents will uh, can be uh, uh, given through uh, clicks in ads, but are related to the contents. Yeah, so sure. we really want to work with uh, brands, uh, maybe artists, maybe okay, you want to access my my great contents, but then you have to buy tickets for my concerts, something like yeah. that, or or a T-shirt, or or just click on ad that is related to uh, my label, something like that. Yeah, we, this is, we feel there is a a huge opportunity there for very targeted ads and very smart way to do things with great partnerships and we want to build these partnerships yeah so this is something that we will really
really feel strong about. And, and it's uh, also interesting because a lot of the people that would uh, have a show or maybe think about uh, advertising uh, as a niche product, they wouldn't be able to, of course, advertise on traditional radio. So. Exactly. We, um, it's it's not always easy to go to a, a, a big targeting a marketing company and uh, and have a big uh, big big thing. So yeah. So we're really thinking about this. We um, I, I can't say much right now, but of we course. are, we are yeah. really have something great in the pipe. I, I That's think. That's great. That's great. And, uh, in the meantime, I mean, uh, for in order for this strategy to to work out, we really have uh, to have a big audience, which is not really the case right now. We have we are. We're happy with what we have, but it's it's, it's not still great. Yeah. So we we have much progress to do in, in this regard. That's why also we want to go international because it will make things much broader, of course. Yeah. yeah sure. And uh, the the idea also is uh, that in the meantime, um, we want to monetize on the tools. So uh, the simple tools will stay free, which makes sense. And if you want access to advanced tools like programming shows um, I, we, we don't know exactly what price tag we will make on, course, we will yeah. have on, on the stores but we have some great new stuff coming up in two to three months and um, I will be able to, to tell the well, we're thinking thinking about the sure. prices, but we'll, it will be tools and hosting. Yeah, mainly. Yeah, and I mean, I, I really look forward to hear more about it because uh, you know I myself put on a radio for uh, digital music trends uh, to have a twenty four hour stream of the latest shows, and it was a very complicated process. Even the companies that are actually specialized in doing yep. web radio, you have to get a web service space. You have to upload tracks by FTP. There is no easy way to do it. That, have that's to, the main. So it's, it's crazy. Yeah. There's no other way. That's to why do we, it. we have uh, we have a huge server. We have, we have used sets of server with uh, already a lot of contents. We don't yeah. have everything, just like these are Spotify. Those there are of like course. 20 million songs or something like that. We don't yeah. have that right yet. But you can upload your songs, but you don't. Ha you just have to upload your uh, the, the contents we don't have already. Yeah. Which which uh, is big difference because with the existing uh, radio companies where you really have to upload everything you want to use. Yeah. It's like you have to upload for two days before you can start making radio. It's yeah, sure. mind boggling. Absolutely. Well. Uh, uh, and uh, finally, how was your experience here at Medium for Medium Labs? It was Labs? great. It was uh, first time for me to pitch in front of 200 people, so yeah. I was a bit stressed out, but uh, I guess it went okay. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Well, uh, we'll see the result of the competition in like what, half an hour. In or half an hour or so, uh, yeah. Uh, an hour and a half? Yeah, an hour and a half, yeah. Um, we'll but in, in any case, I think it's, it's a great way to expose the company and to yeah, let people know about we, it. So. We, we got we got good contacts. Uh, we we met great people in the startup. It's, it, I mean, all, everybody was very nice, and uh, I great. saw some great pitching, some great companies. Uh, I was very impressed with some of them. Like uh, uh, one, there is one of the top of my mind. Uh, I, I don't know if you saw Musigram. Yeah, I, I thought it was really impressive. Very, very well done. Very. Uh, I can see. Uh, Right away, how can I, I can use that? There was also uh, well, I don't really remember the name, but it, it was. I, I thought most of them was yeah. really great. That's great. And um, we also met a lot of uh, business people from the music industry, which sure. is always to, interesting to to speak with them to know how how they see marketing and uh, uh, all this thing that I like, see if we are aligned with their needs. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, I, the only thing where I, I thought I I would meet more artists, maybe. Yeah, that's. Uh, I, I will not say I'm disappointed because I was expecting that it's it's more music business than artists. So maybe uh, going to South by Southwest would, would change that. But yeah, uh, sure. Uh, it was yeah, it was very interesting. That's great. Interesting. Well, uh, I'd encourage everybody to go and check out yasound.com. And uh, thanks so much for being on the show. Thank you very much for having me.